Hello everyone, welcome to a new series in dynamic programming. In this series, I will try to explain common patterns to solve dynamic programming problems. In this session, we will consider about uh, minimum maximum pass to reach a target pattern. So, the general statement for this pattern is like given the target, find minimum maximum pass cost or sum to reach the target. So, you're given a target and you're given a possible ways to reach the target. And you need to choose the optimal one using the less cost pass or sum. And this, the problem statement can be both minimum and maximum. Let's consider an example minimum cost climbing stairs. The problem states that given n step case, for each step, for i step, we have a non negative cost of i. And in order to climb, uh, to climb, to climb one or so we can climb one or two steps and each climb we need to pay the cost and we need to find the minimum cost to reach the top of the floor so we're given the staircase and we want to reach the top of the floor and we can reach it doing one step or doing two steps and we can reach the top we can reach the top so you have two options two ways to reach the top one step and two step and at each step in order to to do a step in order to to a climb we need to pay the cost and when you reach the top we need to find the total cost the minimum total cost that we need to climb to the top and how do we decide from which step to come to the current position so now that's that's the case when you use our pattern so we need to choose the minimum pass so far so we need to choose between doing one step or doing two steps and when we when I choose the minimum and we need to add our cost so to, to do to do it to clean further so when when in gen, and when we reach the top we'll have a total minimum cost so in general uh, how to solve this kind of problem so it's choose the minimum road from possible roads and add the current cost and let's try to solve this problem so we have a given a area of cost and so we have an staircase so we have n step we can do n steps and let's create vector to that will store the cost for our current current step and for the first step we can we need to pay the cost of zero cost of zero and for Second step, we need to pay the cost of one. And for other steps, for step for other steps remaining, we have we will use our algorithm for pattern. So we will choose the minimum possible route so far. And and then we will add our cost. And then we and suppose when you reach the top, so we have two options. So uh, when you reach the top, it's like, or it's better to use to do a one step or to do to do a to do it two steps. So when you reach the top, we don't pay any cost. So this means that when so for example, we can do like this, and when n is so when our point to reach the top, we don't need to pay a cost. So we will just add zero because uh, when you reach the top we don't need to clean further because we are already on the top and then we'll return our answer and let's try to run it okay Okay, let's sorry size. Okay, let's submit. Yeah, it passed it. So that's that's the way how to solve this problem. And 
Uh, let's consider another example, minimum pass sign. The problem states, given a m to n grid fillet with non-negative numbers, so 2D matrix, find a pass from top left to bottom right which minimizes the sum of all numbers along its path. So we need to find a pass and that the sum of the all numbers in this path will be the minimum. And, and we need to reach the bottom right from top left. So how to solve this problem? So we can use our pattern that we mentioned earlier. So we have it to the array and uh, in order to find it, so what we, what we will be the answer to reach the bottom right, it's moving from 1 to 3 to 1 to 1 and to 1 and the total it will give us the sum of 7 which is minimum and for the first and fourth row and fourth first column we can make at most one step so it means like in order to reach the next element in the first row we can go only right and in order to reach the next element in the column we can go only down and for the remaining numbers there are two options so it's going from left to right or going from top to bottom <coughs> so this means that in order to reach our current state we can there is a two ways <coughs> doing from left to right or top to bottom and <coughs> how to distinguish how to decide which row to choose it's just choose minimum pass so far from available pass and i'll add our current number and so for example in this case in order to reach the first row and first column we have two options between 2 and 4 and if so the minimum is 2 and we'll add 5 and it will become 7 and the same logic we can apply for remain remain numbers and in order to find the answer we we need to decide uh, <coughs> between going from top to bottom right to left get the minimum and add our, add our current number and we'll get the answer that's the, that's the logic so in general the the problem is in order to solve this problem is choose the minimum pass from available pass and add, just add the current number and let's solve this problem so we have a grid and let's get our number of rows let's get number of columns and also let's check if our array is not empty and so what first we so for the first row and first column we have only two options so let's pre-calculate them we have only we have only at most one we can do analog at most one step so we can we can pre-calculate them. So let's do it like so for the first row. So for the first row. We can do it is just add our previous value and so for example here is three so we'll add four and it's like a prefix sum and we'll add one and it will be five so it will be one four and five and for the first column We can do the same. So I and so I will add the previous value. And for remaining numbers, we have two options. either choose 
the value from left or choose the value from top. And in order to choose it, we just choose the minimum. We will choose the minimum and we click it. And add our current number and add our current number. And we can do this, can, we can repeat the same for every now other numbers. And at the end, we'll get the answer. So, in order to, to return the answer, we just need to return the element at top, top right, bottom right, which is minus one and m one, m minus one. So, let's run and check it if it works. Oh, okay, it's not deeply, it's great. Okay, let's submit this one. Okay, it works. So in order to solve this problem, it's the same thing as minimum cost clean ministers. So we just choose the minimum price so far. And add our current state, number in the current state. <coughs> Let's consider third example, coin change. Problem states <coughs> that given coins of different de denominations and total amount of money, and write a function to compute the fewest number of coins of that you need to make up that amount. And if that amount of money cannot be cannot made up by any combination of coins, return minus one. So we given we given so we are given amount of amount that we need to we need amount of money that we need, and we have the coins with some kind some kind of denomination. So we have the denomination of one, two, and five. So how can I how can I come to eleven? Can we can make 11 from the coins that we have? So we have three options. So we can make we can have 11 one 11 coins of donation of one, or five coins of donation of two, and one coin of the denomination of one, or two coins of denomination of five, and one one coins. <coughs> and what is the best option? So we have it have three options to get 11 coins. No, and for for so for each option. So for the first option, we have we need eleven coins. For the second option, we we need six coins, and for the third option, we need three coins. Because in order to get ten coins, we need ten ones. In order to get nine, we need four four two and two coins and one one coin. And to get six, we need only one five one five coin and one one coin. So, so the third option is the minimum. So we, we can make we need three coins to make eleven. So, so in order to solve the problem, how do we decide uh, how many coins to choose in previous state? The answer is we choose the minimum state, and then add our current state. So we will choose between we have a three ways to read the current state, and we will choose the uh, minimum in the previous state, and we will add. Our current state is the answer. So in general, choose the minimum coins in previous state and add the current coin. So we, 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 it means that we have a three ways to reach the current state, and we will just choose bit minimum among these three states, and we, we, we will add this our current state to the state. So we will get the answer for the current state. And it's the same. same it's just, this problem is similar. To other previous problems, and they all fall to the current pattern to cut to the common pattern. So let's solve this problem. So we have an amount and we have a coins. So let's first check if we if we have coins or not. If we don't have coins, so we cannot make that amount. So we we'll just return minus one. And let's create a Area that will store our amount. So let's 
and call it db and it will have our amount and let's give a give image initial give the maximum so in order to reach to reach that amount we need we can make we need max amount of coins and so we ha when we have a we we don't when we don't have a coin so this means that the answer will be zero so we don't we, in case if the alpha if our amount is zero so answer will be zero because we don't need any coin and for the remaining uh, we have uh, several options we have three options either to choose coin of denomination one either to choose coin of denomination two either to choose the coin of denomination five so there is five there is three of three ways three options so let's try to find the answer so we will generate how many total coins we need for every possible amount of amount of money and for and we need to check all possible ways to reach that amount so we need to check every denomination of coins so also we need to make sure that uh, our coins will not exceed our amount of money so we need to check that our coins is either less or it's it should be less or equal to our current amount and for current amount we will we need to choose the minimum so we will just choose minimum from previous state and we will add our we will add that one as because we're doing we're using one co one coin of the denomination and and then we need to check if if the answer is exists exists if the answer is not exists we will just return minus one if it exists so we will return our amount of money so our, the total coin we need for doing that amount of money okay let's run it and check it if it works And let's submit. It passed, so it works. So how to solve this problem? It's it's the same thing. So choose the minimum among among your possible choose the minimum road to reach the current state and add your current state. So you will just need to in order to, to solve this kind of problems. What you need is to get this to choose the minimum pass you need to for before this current state and add your current state so in general how to find how to find the answer given the target find the minimum maximum cost pass sum to reach target so so what you need is choose the minimum maximum pass among all possible pass before current state and add your current state and i think it was clear and if you have any questions um, put it you can put it in comments and i will i, I will else also add example problems that will repeat this pattern and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this video and i will add more patterns in the next weeks Thank you.